here you have some tips for solving question number 5 of assignment assignment 2 this is for finding the rise in pressure across the impeller of the centrifugal pump the dimensions given are the internal and external diameters of the impeller so that is d1 inner diameter or internal diameter that is 15 cm so, so you have 0 0.15 meter and external diameter that is d2 which is uh, 0 0.3 meter and the breadth of the impeller at the inlet and outlet respectively 1.2 and 0 0.6 centimeters so v1 in meters will be 0 0.012 meter and v2 will be 0. 006 meter and of course the discharge Q is available Q is 0 0.01 meter cube per second already in SI unit you may not do any conversion and as you know that Q is equal to pi D2 B2 Vf2 Vf2 and also Q is equal to also or Q is equal to by B1, B1, Vf1 and here the breadth and diameters are given, discharge is available and of course you can find out Vf1 and Vf2 from this. For radial flow at inlet, this is a velocity triangle, you are familiar with it and here alpha is equal to 90 degree, the flow is radial at inlet, V1 is equal to Vf1 and VW1 is 0. So using all this, you can easily find out the equation we discussed in the previous session, the rise in pressure in the impeller, rise in pressure head we will find out first, that is uh, P2 by rho G minus P1 by rho G, that is P2 minus P1 divided by rho G you can write, that is equal to V1 square by 2g minus uh, b2 square by 2g then the oil ahead so this the change in dynamic head actually then oil ahead is your bw2 u2 divided by g so 2g is not there then of course minus hl and here neglect losses through the impulse so you are asked to neglect so you don't simply ignore that term so this is the equation so what you require is now v1 is equal to vf1 v2 you need to find out and from the other information given the veins impeller vein at outlet is 45 degrees so obviously angle phi vein angle at outlet phi is equal to 45 degrees from the given information of course you can find out u1 and u2 u1 is equal to pi d1 n by 60 and uh, u2 is equal to pi d2 n by 60. The rpm of the impeller, rotational speed of the impeller is given as 1500 rpm. So therefore you can find out u1 and u2. So once you find tan phi from the, the outlet velocity triangle tan, tan phi is equal to vf2 divided by u2 minus vw2 established equation we have, you can find out vw2. And uh, once you have VW2 and VF2, of course, from this triangle you can see that V2 is actually the, the resultant of VF2 and VW2. So therefore, V2 is equal to using Pythagoras theorem. So it is VF2 square plus VF2 square plus uh, VW2 square. So you can get V1 and V2. So you get V1, V2. Vw2, u2 and all these quantities you can find out p2 minus p1 by rho g and the, since you are asked the rise in pressure this is the head you are getting see answer will be in meters of water so if you want to find out the pressure difference in pressure intensity p2 minus p1 then of course that uh, the head in meters multiplied by rho g and rho you can take 1000 g is 9.81 in that case you will get p2 minus p1 that is a rise in pressure head in Pascal that is Newton per meter square.